Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss what do you know about breast, breast cancer. It is world's largest cancer killer next to heart disease. I am Dr. Jagaji Singh Virk, MBBS, FCGP, FAMS, PGDGM, presenting to you this presentation. Let's see what is a normal breast. No breast is typical. What is normal for you may not be normal for another woman. Most women say their breasts feel lumpy or uneven. The way your breasts look and feel can be affected by getting your period, having children, losing or gaining weight, and taking certain medications. Breasts also tend to change as you age. What are the warning signs of breast cancer? Different people have different symptoms of breast cancer. Some people do not have any signs or symptoms at all. Some warning signs of breast cancer are new lump in the breast or underarm, that's armpit, thickening or swelling of part of the breast, irritation or dimpling of breast skin, redness or flaky skin in the nipple area or the breast, pulling in of the nipple or pain in the nipple area, nipple discharge other than breast milk, including blood any change in the size or the shape of the breast, pain in any area of the breast. Keep in mind that these symptoms can happen with other conditions that are not cancer. What do, you, what do lumps in breast mean? Many conditions can cause lumps in the breast, including cancer. But most breast lumps are caused by other medical conditions. The two most common causes of breast lumps are fibrocystic breast condition and cysts. Fibrocystic condition causes non-cancerous changes in the breast that can make them lumpy, tender, and sore. Cysts are small fluid-filled sacs that can develop in the breast. What are the risk factors you cannot change? Getting older is one. The risk for breast cancer increases with age. Most breast cancers are diagnosed after age 50. Genetic mutations. Inherited changes, mutations to certain genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2. Women who have inherited these genetic changes are at higher risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Reproductive history. Early menstrual periods before age 12 and starting menopause after age 55 expose women to hormones longer, raising their risk of getting breast cancer. Having dense breasts. Dense breasts have more connective tissue than fatty tissue, which can sometimes make it hard to see tumors on a mammogram. Women with Dense breasts are more likely to get breast cancer. Personal history of breast cancer or certain non-cancerous breast diseases. Women who have had breast cancer are more likely to get breast cancer a second time. Some non-cancerous breast diseases such as atypical hyperplasia or lobular, lobular carcinoma in situ are associated with a higher risk of getting breast cancer. Risk factors you cannot change. Family history of breast or ovarian cancer. A woman's risk for breast cancer is higher if she has a mother, sister or daughter, first degree relative or multiple family members on either her mother's or father's side of the family who have had breast or ovarian cancer. Having a first degree male relative with breast cancer also raises a woman's risk. Previous treatment, using radiation therapy, women who had radiation therapy to the chest or breasts or instance treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma before age 30 have a higher risk of getting breast cancer later in life. 
women who took the drug diethyl still bestrol des which was given to some pregnant women in the united states between 1940 and 1971 to prevent miscarriage have a higher risk women whose mothers took des while pregnant with them are also at risk this factors you can change not being physical active women who are not physically active have a higher risk of getting breast cancer being overweight or obese after menopause older women who are overweight or obese have a higher risk of getting breast cancer than those at a normal weight taking hormones some forms of hormone replacement therapy those that include both estrogen and progesterone taken during menopause can raise risk for breast cancer when taken for more than 5 years certain oral contraceptives birth control pills also have been found to raise breast cancer risk reproductive history having the first pregnancy after age 30 not breastfeeding and never having a full term pregnancy can raise breast cancer risk drinking alcohol studies show that a woman's risk for breast cancer increases with the more alcohol she drinks research suggests that other factors such as smoking being exposed to chemicals that can cause cancer and changes in other hormones due to night shift working also may increase breast cancer risk who is at high risk of breast cancer if you have a strong family history of breast cancer or inherited inherited changes in your brca1 and brca2 genes you may have a high risk of getting breast cancer you may also have a high risk for ovarian cancer what can i do to reduce my risk many factors over the course of a lifetime can influence your breast cancer risk you can't change some factors such as getting older or your family history but you can help lower your risk of breast cancer by taking care of your health in the following ways keep a healthy weight exercise regularly don't drink alcohol or limit alcohol drinks if you are taking or have been told to take hormone replacement therapy external icon or oral contraceptives external icon birth control pills ask your doctor about the risks and find out if it is right for you breast feed your children if possible if you have a family history of breast cancer or inherited changes in your brca1 and brca2 genes talk to your doctor about other ways to lower your risk staying healthy throughout your life will lower your risk of developing cancer and improve your chances of surviving cancer if it occurs risk of screening harms can include false positive test results when a doctor sees something that looks like cancer but is not this can lead to more tests which can be expensive invasive time consuming and may cause anxiety tests also can lead to over diagnosis when doctors find a cancer that would not have gone on to cause symptoms or problems or even may go away on its own treatment of these cancers is called over treatment over treatment can include treatments recommended for breast cancer such as surgery or radiation therapy these can cause unnecessary and unwanted side effects other potential harms from breast cancer screening include pain during procedures and radiation exposure from the mammograms test itself while the amount of radiation in a mammogram is small there may be risks with having repeated x rays mammograms may also miss some cancers called false negative test results which may delay finding a cancer and getting treatment how is breast cancer diagnosed it's by breast ultrasound diagnostic mammography breast magnetic resonance imaging thermograms or biopsy how is breast cancer treated breast cancer is treated in several ways it depends on the kind of breast cancer and how far it has spread people with breast cancer often get more than one kind of treatment surgery and operation where doctors 
cut out cancer tissue chemotherapy is using special medicines to shrink or kill the cancer cells the drugs can be pills you take or medicines given in your veins or sometimes both hormonal therapy blocks cancer cells from getting the hormones they need to grow biological therapy works with your body's immune system to help it fight cancer cells or to control side effects from other cancer treatments radiation therapy using high energy rays similar to x rays to kill the cancer cells complementary and alternative medicine complementary and alternative medicine are medicines and uh, health practices that are not standard cancer treatments complementary medicine is used in addition to standard treatments and alternative medicine is used instead of standard treatments meditation yoga and supplements like vitamins and herbs are some examples lugols iodine is also used can you put iodine on your breast fibrocystic breast changes women with fibrocystic breast disease have breast tenderness particularly just before their periods a review of clinical studies found that iodine replacement therapy particularly for those with low levels of iodine may improve the tenderness associated with fibrocystic breast tissue how does iodine help fibrocystic breasts iodine is also known to promote promote the development of normal breast tissue and to protect against the formation of abnormal cells in addition to breast cancer risk iodine deficiency is also associated with increased risk of fibrocystic breast disease in the condition characterized by lumpiness in one or both breasts how much iodine should i take for breast cancer <clears throat> the daily supplement of an iodine solution drop drops 5 mg per day within 4 to 6 cycles of chemotherapy with fec oblique te in advanced breast cancer diagnosticated women drug iodine solution 5 mg per day evaluate the adjuvancy of 12 on fec oblique te treatment on tumor size and molecular tumor response as well as side effects attenuations does iodine dissolve cysts iodine can cause tumors to shrink and necrosis from the center we have observed similar results with nodules and cysts in the thyroid ovaries and uterus after instituting ortho iodo supplementation Does iodine shrink fibroids? Iodine has well documented research when it comes to healthy breast tissue, and women will often claim iodine alleviated fibrocystic breast pain or breast lumps. Iodine may help shrink uterine fibroids. One of the first conventional treatments for several fibroids was to paint a woman's uterus with iodine. Does iodine help breast growth? Iodine is taken up by the sodium iodide supporter in the breast, and its role is important in promoting the development of normal versus neoplastic breast tissue development. How does iodine affect cancer? Iodine deficiency is associated with increased risk of some cancers, which have thyroid hormone receptors such as breast, thyroid, and stomach. what are good sources of iodine iodine is found mainly in animal protein foods and sea vegetables and to a lesser extent in fortified foods like bread cereals and milk seaweed nori kelp kombu wakame fish shellfish cod canned tuna oysters shrimp table salts labeled as iodized dairy milk cheese yogurt eggs beef liver chicken all these have got iodine in it thank you very much